Charlotte Reed here. Welcome to the ranch. Uh, Riley and I have a special experience we want to share with you that happened last night. Uh, last night Riley moved to a new bedroom and it was very scary for her. She discovered a spider and we are both afraid of spiders. Mm, very. I say that now but I have no fear about spiders at the moment because of what I'm about to show you. Uh, previously I'd have been, you say spiders and my skin crawls and I get all, mm, my blood pressure goes up and I experience anxiety because spiders were just yucky. But, uh, so tell us what, what your fear level was and what you're afraid of. After, before we did the tapping, uh, I was at 10 and I walked into the room. I had no idea there was a spider. I lay down, looked up for a couple of minutes, saw some sort of black thing and I, I found, I stand it up, and I found out there's a humongous spider, and um, I said, Mom, get this spider away from me, and she said, well, let's do some tapping, and I had no idea tapping was such a thing, because we haven't really done it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tapping is new to us, and so this was really exciting to try it out. So after we did tapping, what was your fear level? Uh, after or before? After. After? It was at a zero. Very good. You're right, that's awesome. Because before you said that it was at a 10, which is the most intense fear, and then when we were done, uh, it turned into a zero. Okay, so uh, one thing that we're gonna help with the tapping is using uh, our oils. So you're gonna take your favorite oil, um, we, we prefer frankincense at the moment for that particular fear, and we put a drop of frankincense in our palms, or on our wrist, and we're gonna rub together, and smell. And do five big deep breaths. I love it that Fred is totally sleeping in the background. This is hilarious. <laughs> he gets to do his own video in just a minute as soon as we're done. Okay, so after you smell and take five big deep breaths, then we're going to start on the karate chop point. After you identify your fear, talk about all the other things that you're afraid of with that fear. Like we're afraid of not only the spider, but then it also became the dark and the my and mice and uh, ghosts and being alone. Okay? And so then you, karate, you, chop on the, you tap on the karate chop point. Um, even though I have this fear of being alone, I love and accept myself. Even though I have this fear of the dark, I love and accept myself. Even though I have this fear of mice, and you go through all of those fears, tapping on your karate chop point. And then you move to the eyebrow point, the inside of the eyebrow, and you can shorten it at this point so that you go through all of the rest of the points in this short manner, and you say, I have this fear of spiders. I have this fear of mice. And you're gonna, you, can say, you can say all of the fears on each point, or you can say just one. You go with what you feel like you need. If your fears are really high and really intense, you're going to say all of them. I think we did say all of them on each tapping point last night. So, I have this fear of the dark, fear of spiders, fear of mice. And you do that for every point. The next point is out here at the ends of the eyes, right on the eye bone. Right out there. Okay. Next is right under the eye. I have this fear of spiders. Under the nose. I have this fear of the dark. I have this fear of mice. Right on the chin, under the lip. Uh, then the next point is under your collarbones, right here in the little soft, tender spot. I have a sphere of spiders. Okay. And the last point is uh, straight across the chest, under your elbow here, uh, under your arm. I have a sphere of the dark, fear of spiders, fear of mice, whatever it takes. You go through all of your list of, I have, you know, even though I have this fear. Okay. And then the last one is, you let that be for a second, take a deep breath of your oil. And above your head. You can also tap on your head too, and that, that tapping one on your head can be first even, uh, or last. Have this fear of the dark, for spiders, for mice. And then above this, we like to say our bringing our positives. And as you let that fear go, see if this is true for you. I feel safe. I feel comfortable. I am at peace. And if that's true, let it wash over you. If you feel that it's not true yet, you can go through one more round of tapping and do all the tapping points one more time. Uh, and then it will bring your fear level down to uh, zero, as we discovered. So, amazing thing, tapping in oils. Uh, using the essential oils to enhance the tapping experience makes it so much more effective and faster. Uh, I love this, and I love that uh, we could get rid of that fear so that we're not afraid to fight spiders or mice or the dark, and we can sleep well in that room, huh? That was awesome. Do you think you'll use tapping again in the future? Probably ten times a day. Ten times a day. If you have that many fears, that's a problem. <laughs> but if you had a fear, will we use tapping again? Yes? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so here's Charlotte and Riley and Fred saying love you, bye-bye from the ranch. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.